Oh, welcome back, guys. So let's let's texture the English shirt. So I'm just going to select the English shirt, and I will isolate it. Should probably turn on the trousers also. So we don't have to see this lower part. Yeah, something like this should be fine. All right. It should be fine. So, unless we basically use the same color as the reference, so. Let's go to the layers. I'll do this layer. So I'm going to be using the, some of the default fabric material in here. Let's see if we have some fabric material in, in our smart material. Uh, This one actually looks interesting. This one, jean material. Fabric Dolby Edge. Uh, I think I'll be sticking with, okay, let's see this. Fabric cleaning. Yeah, it's probably the best one for this. Mm -hmm. So let's see how this plays out on our character. Okay, this is looking quite interesting. It's actually interesting. Uh, I think I might have like two variations for this. This as my first. This one has my first variation. Wait a minute. Do we have? Okay. I think I'd like to duplicate my normal map in here because normal map is not is not showing up properly as I would want it to. So I'll drag this down here. So I only need the normal map in here. So the normal map for the English shirts, English typing shirts. Okay. It's probably the, let me name this to normal. I'll duplicate this a few times. Ish, that's way too much. Turn this back on. So you see why we oriented our UVs properly so that when we apply a fabric to this, it's just going to it's going to kind of accurately fit our shirt's model without too much of an issue. So I'm just kind of checking this out. Let me kind of figure out. How this should work, okay? So let's set this at 4K resolution. Okay. Now for the resolution we see a better quality of this. So now I actually have an idea. I can do something I can do something like this with some jean pants for this guy. 
which kind of make it look more interesting before doing this what kind of following this um, reference as it is so I think I will leave this one for now because right off the bat we already have something quite interesting so let's not go in and kind of figure out what some of these are foods I can't really see any of the food being affected in here though. Okay, let's see it now. Okay. Plums. No, uh, not really. Okay, okay, I see them in there now. Okay. Let's gonna figure out which material they used in there. Okay, probably noise. Some clouds to max it out. Okay. Surface detail. Okay. Turn this back on. Okay, this is, is the fiber. Fiber January. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Can, I can actually duplicate this and then create this piece. This part lapis out of it, so let's do that. So I'm just going to duplicate this. I hide this for now. So we need only the vertical shape. Then we can just manipulate that. Then change the overall color of this mesh also. So let's go in there. First, we would turn this off. Edge darkening. Edge darkening is fine. So now we we'll change that letter. Discoloration. Okay. Let me turn this off for now. I'll leave the fold. The clump I don't really need. Maybe I need it, but not too intense as this. So I'll turn off this horizontal. For the vertical, let's go in there and adjust and adjust the the width for that. Okay, let's adjust the width for that. So, adjust the width. Let me turn this lower one. Okay, this is the actual one in here. So, let's turn down the width. Okay, something more or less like so. So 0 0.1 is the width. I'll go back in here and I'll do the same thing also. Just plug this to 0 0.1. So I need a bit more of this. So let's let's add some scale to this. How many do we actually need? Let's try three in here. 
okay color should be an obvious white even not complete white do something like so okay now what kind of changes to normal something like this did you stop one for the warp I need to adjust the warp a bit more warp direction let's see that's extreme Let's see if we can do something in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, something like this. Yeah, that seems a bit much. Mm -hmm. This will be fine. Now I need to kind of change the I think I need the bit more. I think I need to increase this a bit more. Let's try value of six. So much four. Yeah, something like that should be fine. The plums I'll need to take down. So I go to the height channel. I probably think I think that should be should be on the height channel. So take this down some more. Soft surface detail. Uh, let's see what we have in here. Let's select it. See, we can adjust that a bit more. Tiling, let's try tiling of 60 instead. Probably something okay, too small. Yeah, this should be fine. So now let's change the let's come back to base color. Let's change the overall color of this something close to the reference. Okay, get in there. Something a bit bright, not too bright, maybe even dull. No, too dull. Yeah, that's the most it's one of the other thing. Find the right color. Let me duplicate this for now. There's something in here. Let me just close all of this. Hide this. Let me work with just this for now. I guess something darker. I think something around the edge should be fine. 
then let's turn off this coloration for now maybe a little something like this should be fine edge darkening we need to change the color obviously so let's use this color but something a bit darker yeah, something like this Uh, okay. Plums. Let's change the color of the plums. Something around there, but it's a bit more brightness, a bit more brightness to it, something like this should be fine. Yeah, I think this should be close enough. Yeah, this should be this is close enough. So since we are just going to turn on the shed buttons So for these buttons I'm going to be using uh I think there's a material I saw in here is it this Ah, uh, fabric super. Let's let's try this one. Let's see how this looks like. Okay. This kind of looks interesting. Why are they floating? So these buttons are floating in the air. Probably need to adjust them later on inside of the side of um, Maya. Let's make this black for now. Here's something that it should work. Except only for the this center piece needs to be like some kind of fabric material instead. So we can use the what is this? Fabric doesn't seem to be giving it don't look really appealing honestly uh, I think I'll just use the material instead the very material that should work it's in this one let's drop this down here or rather up here they're not the black marks to it probably change, change the color also to something a bit darker Let's let the marks. So I'm going to be using UV instead. So 
So hold X and you select this other piece. Just the thread it in there. Just the thread it in there. I need to give this fabric material. So select no, X, select all of this. X, you select the plastic parts. Almost done. Okay. Done with that. Right. Let's go to the trousers fabric demi. Let's just drag and drop this in here. Let's make some adjustments in here. Starting with the scale. I put it at uh, 20 is way too much. Let's try a value of 10. English shirt. Let me just make sure this English shirt kind of put this out. Put this at resolution of 2K again. Okay. Let's go back to the trousers. Put this at 4K resolution. <coughs> I'm not really liking. I'm not really liking the color for now. Put this back, put, put this on five. See how we can change in here. <coughs> can we even can we even change the color? I don't think we can change the color. Nah, I won't be needing this fabric. Let's try this one. Okay. Why do they keep? Why do they keep getting weird when I increase that? Is there a way to increase in your height position? Height position it doesn't do much. Let's try two. Let's try four. <coughs> Let's try and get the color in here. So duplicate this. Just have a backup. Then this particular one up here, I'll just go to change the color. Let's push this down.
Push this up. Push this down. Yeah, pretty much there. Maybe a bit lighter. Let's see what this gives. Just make this slightly lighter. Nope, nope. Should be a bit darker instead. Yeah, this is pretty much it. It should be pretty much it. So, but I would like to technical parameters. The let's increase the height range. No, that's way too much. Okay. Yeah, this should this should work. So <clears throat> something like this. Then I go back to the shirt. Kind of copy some of the layers in here and then move that to the move that to the trouser. Like example, this what's this thread distortion? No, no, I don't need thread distortion. But this edge damage. This edge damage, this coloration, food, plump, uh, surface. Let's see, this surface it is actually does something. Yes, yeah, so surface detail. So I'll just copy all of this. Come to the trouser and just paste this on top of this. I'll give that a moment. Let's see what that gives us. Okay. So this fold we would select them. The height channel in there and take this way down, something like so. This discoloration, I need to go in there and then adjust that a bit more. Let's see the marks for this for this discoloration. Let's get this highlight some get this more highlight in here. Uh okay. Yeah, much better. Something like so. This should be fine, so we'll go back in here. We're having some discoloration like this. And maybe that's just a bit too much, so we can always go back to the color channel and tune this down some more, like so. Edge darkening is just way too much, so I like to take that down. Alright. Surface detail. Mm, I don't know if I need that much surface detail though. Not sure if I need that much. I don't need it. What else do we have in here? I copied something else. Where is the other one I copied? Plumping. I'm starting to use similar color to this. 
there's something a bit slightly brighter like so then it's a bit more scaled okay so for this basic skin texture I think this should be just fine then I feel like I should darken this even more I think this should actually work. This feels slightly better. See if I can work with this. This feels slightly better. Okay. And just do a quick save. I think this, this particular material is actually is going to work for it's also going to work when we use that um is it flannel plaid material I think so that with the black with the red and black stripes so let's bring the body back in here okay then for the Let's do this not be in our eyes. I think I'll definitely need to make some corrections for the eye in the brush. This is just way down way too much. But is the English shot I'm trying to actually kind of see in here? So I turn this back on. Yeah, something like this looks looks good. Yeah, this definitely works. So let's let's see this with some shadowing in there. Let's try some studio setup in here. Let's try this Tomaco Studio light setup in here. Okay. Yeah, this looks cool. This will work. Right. Right, so in this lesson we'll just carry on and then texture the belt and then move down to the wristwatch, then the shoes, and then we can call it done, I guess. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Let's do like a preview render for this in IRA. So let's see what that gives us. Okay.
Let's I don't think I'd like to see the environment though. Probably increase the brightness of the SGR lights. Not bad. So actually work. Let's try this. Let's try a different different light setup for this. Okay. Let's try the panorama. No, uh, this one is just way too bright. Let's try the mandorini. Way too bright. Let's try a studio. Set up. Well, for the most part, everything seems to be. For the most part, everything seems to be working just fine. Okay, very good. This we can work with.